Let's talk about the difference between salmon and cod and which one is truly healthier. The first thing I want to mention is that when you consume salmon or cod, make sure that it's wild caught, not farm raised. There's been this thought that you should consume more cod because of some thought that consuming fatty fish is going to clog your arteries, which is completely not true at all. Let's just do a little comparison. Three ounces of salmon versus cod. Salmon will give you about 25.4 grams of protein. Cod will give you 22.8 grams. There's 1.2 grams of saturated fat in salmon, and there's a lot less. It just traces, trace amounts of fat in the cod fish. Starting with vitamins, B3. If we take three ounces of the fish, that will satisfy 45% of your RDAs for salmon and only 10% for cod. B12, 45% versus 15%. B6, 45% versus 10%. B2, 25% versus only 4%. B1, 15% versus 6%. So you can see that salmon has a lot more B vitamins. Folate, 6% versus 2%. Now, both of these fish do have a little bit of mercury, but you don't have to be concerned because they also have a good amount of selenium, about equal. And selenium is used by your body for certain enzymes to counter the toxic effect of mercury. But check out this big difference here. Salmon has 2,208 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids versus cod, which only has 171 milligrams. So you can see right there, salmon is definitely the winner. Now, a lot of people consume cod as a, uh, like a fish and chips type thing where it's deep fried. And it's usually farm raised fish, not that healthy. I also recommend if you're gonna consume fish to consume the skin on it. There's a lot of benefits from the skin and the fat that's just underneath the skin. All right, guys, that's my summary of comparing salmon to cod. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back with another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.